game in five with the victory tonight. So to, to sweep what I think is, uh, you know, a top 20 program is, is big. I thought, I thought, although we weren't perfect, we did a lot of good things, and I thought we moved on well. I thought Marquette gave us some points at opportune times that helped us out. Um, but, you know, again, I think our offensive parity was the reason for a lot of success. A lot of people hit at high clips. Um, you know, and, and, you know, our game plan, among other things, was to really try to see if we could contain Taylor Lewis. You know, she's just such a phenomenal player. Um, and I think we did a good job of that tonight. She really did, uh, particularly, like you said, early in the game. I thought Jay made a lot of good digs. I thought they followed game plan really well. We told them afterwards, you know, we had different nuances of types of balls. They were supposed to go different places, and um, and they did a great job of that. And and then, you know, I thought we'd get it. One of our goals tonight was dig transition, meaning, you know, if we get the ball up, now we got to swing for kills. So balls would get up, and usually it was Lydia that got her hands on the balls. I thought made you know made plays out of tough balls a lot of time. Or if it was other people, again not perfect. I think that's still an area, especially when she when Lydia's not touching the ball. We can continue to get better. But I thought we were better out of system tonight on just some awkward balls than we've been. Yeah, um, it's it's been fun. Lauren's really gotten her mojo going. I mean, to have zero errors, that's a pretty impressive line. Um, but I think I think the thing that I like about the long-term projection for this team is it could be Lauren that has an off night and other people will step up. Um, and so we're not dependent on, you know, one or two players. Lydia has five players that she can dish to and she can find the hot hand. So um, that's... That's the exciting thing is that, you know, a team might say Lauren's the best player on the team and game plan for that and shut her down while someone else has the opportunity to step up on that night. Um, I think that it's a just says something huge about the defense and then the balls that Lydia was willing to take a risk on with us. And um, we focus on big transition. And I would totally agree with coach that everyone that went up to swing was going aggressively and um, just 100 percent. So it was a lot of fun. I think it's hard because um, if I I think I'm right, but Lauren has had five different setters every year she's been here. So oh gosh, been, just sorry about yeah. that. <laughs> so it's been, it's been a work in progress, but um, I mean she is always up, which makes it a lot easier. She works really hard in transition, and she gives me a great window. So anytime I can just put it anywhere near her, her I know she'll put it down. Yeah. We do a really good job communicating, and uh, I know that she's going to put up the best ball, and then I have to make sure that. I'm doing everything that I can to put away for her and all my other teammates. So um, I think everything at this point is a work in progress. Like we can always get better. And um, if it's not us, it's the other girls on the court too. So. You know, it's interesting because I, I didn't know if it was a good thing or a bad thing to start with Marquette. Um, and now I feel like it was a good thing. But, uh, you know, I, because Marquette played a really rigorous schedule too. So it wasn't like they played, you know, cupcakes and then suddenly were coming in to play us. So I knew they would be prepared. Um, and psychologically, you know, we're ready to get some wins. I think, you know, the moral victory thing has kind of run its course. And um, so I think mentally we, we needed a W a little bit. Um, but the positive was there was no like having to get them up to say, hey, this is a great team. They've been playing great teams all the way, um, you know, for the last four weeks. And, you know, I knew they'd be prepared, you know. And I think that is the benefit of the schedule is, um, you know, they're ready to get punched and punched and punched and get back up each time. 
Um, and I think we saw that tonight. Lewis would get a great swing or Barbara would get a great swing and we'd say, it's a great swing, let's move on. And I think that's the resiliency that I hope will pay dividends throughout the Big East uh, season. Oh, really? Well, well, I, I, I thought we started great in all three games, but that one in particular was big. But we, I, I thought at the get-go, and that's been something we've focused on, and I was really pleased with that uh, throughout the night. Is that one of the 15-7 kind of things that gives you great to your hairs? I can't remember the 15-7. It was kind of looking like an ace at one point, and then they got the ball over, and then there was a misconnection, and they ended up getting the point out of it. Oh, the ball that you and Taryn? Is, is it the... Th the free ball that you know I think you know uh, we do a good job moving on yeah <laughs> like, like I might get a look but then it's gone I mean I don't even remember it so you know that's that's part of the game we make some stupid plays but we've got to learn from it and we'll go back and learn from that I think that's an area that we've got to work on that communication but uh, opportunity to get better We had that discussion. So uh, I've watched DePaul tape a fair amount. Um, they'll get their first taste of them tomorrow. Um, they are they're good, especially in system. They've got a lefty on the right side who is tearing things up. She's, I think, at four kills per game. And then they've got two really good middles, um, a setter that, uh, if she's in system, dishes really well. Um, we'll have our hands full, um, and I think it's a bear trap game because I think, you know, the hype is Marquette, 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 and now it's all DePaul. And I, I told them, they're a top 50 RPI team. This is a huge opportunity to build our resume, um, and it's a very good team. So, you know, that's the speech they've been getting. I think they get it. They're, they're smart, and they've, Lauren's heard this for five years, <laughs> so I'm sure she could give the speech to the team at this point. Well, I mean, we discussed that they took us five. So, um, I mean, that was said tonight in the locker room. Again, you know, one thing that this team has done tra traditionally pretty well over the last few years is respecting every opponent. So I don't think there's ever a match that they walk in and assume they're going to win. Now, they are confident, but, like, they know that if they don't, if they don't play well against any Big East team, we will lose. And that's, they got to bring it every single day.